more about the Nigerian politician who is the founder and spreader of the Boko Haram Foundation in Nigeria. My people, it will interest you to know that a serving minister is the person Buhari appointed in 2019 to become a minister of communication. This very minister is a, is a, is a rogue. The U.S. were the ones who, who uh, exposed him because Nigerian government is aiding them, encouraging them, and giving them everything they want, in fact, promoting the agenda. It will interest you to know all that is going on currently with this serving minister, how he started the whole foundation. Nigeria, hmm, the country is in a big trouble. Oh. Honestly, if you hear it, your ear will tingle. Let's get all the details. The name of the notable Nigerian politician who has the controversy with the, uh, the founder, he is the founder, this man. U.S. have been telling him since 2001. 2001, they've been telling him for the past 20 years. U.S. have been telling him. And Nigerian government went ahead to make him a minister. Let's continue. Over the past decades, the Boko Haram insurgents have dominated discussion on Nigerian security. The violent rise and resistance of the jihadist group Boko Haram in the Lake Chad Basin since 2009 and the enormous that has engulfed the security system, humanitarian and government challenges presently in the country. Many prominent Nigerians have been linked with the deadly group. A man called Aji Oyewale took to his Twitter account to review the minister who tried to correct the founder of the by debating with him. This is what is happening now. According to Saraji, Ali Ibrahim, also known as Pantami, has debated with Muhammad Yusuf. Remember, Muhammad Yusuf is the founder of the group, the leader of the Boko Haram, against, you know, he has, he has debated against him in 2008. But let's hear what really happened. Pantami is the Minister of Communication and Digital Economy in Nigeria. He was the Director General and CEO, Nigeria Information Technology Development Agency of Nigeria from 20, from 26 September 2016 to August 20th, 2019, when he was nominated as a minister, who nominated him, his people, and swore in to office on the 21st of August 2019. Ali Ibrahim Pantami was a Fulani born on 20th October 1972 in Pantami World. Gombe State, Nigeria. His mother, Halajia Amiu Hutman, and the father, Halaji Ali, uh, Ali Ibrahim Pantami, is, is himself and his father bearing the same name. He started his education by attending traditional school for memorizing the Quran. Okay? He went, that, that was the school he went to. He spent more than four years in that school and later joined primary school in Pantami. In his state, Dr. Pantami lectured at Abubakar Tafabaliwa University in information technology before joining the Islamic University. He, he, see, he, kind of, he, went, he did not go to proper regular school. He did not go to... So his mindset, you can imagine what kind of mindset this man has. He has not mixed up with people. These are the people that are in charge of affairs in the country. Let's continue. Before joining Islamic University... At, Ma at Mahada in the, as the head of technology writing in, in 2014. Pantami is an ITC lecturer, an Islamic scholar, and there are absolutely nothing wrong in him becoming the vice president of the country, like some quarters have said. Mohammed Yusuf, the Uharam founder also was a popular Islamic scholar in the Northeast before diverting and becoming, getting into the Tozik school of what it is today. Yusuf has started the group in 2006, which started their operation in 2009, but his diverted ideology was already spreading in the North. Pantami, like other genuine Islamic scholar of the North, told him what he was preaching was wrong then. In the early days of his diversification, some Islamic preacher called his attention to the diversification and the misleading guidance he was carrying on. 
One of them was Pantami, who debated him in 2006. Other Islamic scholars in the north, including Hamed Jafra, also tried to correct Yusuf with debates. The, correct, the correction had been on the internet for over 15 years. Now, the U.S. has placed him as one of the sponsors of this group, and he is now on the U.S. watch list. So you heard, you've heard the guy's uh, biography, what he has been doing, the kind of ideology. Nigerians has been responding. Somebody said, ideology among strange ideologies. See what is going on. Some of these preachers are the ones causing the problem in the country. Yet the government say they are trying to, they are trying to correct or do one thing or the other. They know the people who are the ones causing this problem. These are the ones spreading an ideology. You know, greatness starts with an idea. Also, failure starts with an idea. The feel of, I can't. Um, they don't like me. I can't do it. Nobody will accept it. It's an idea. It's not real. It's like mirage. False evidence appearing to be real. And what you need is to stay around the right people. Equip yourself with the right information to change that kind of mindset. Pray about it. Talk to somebody about it. This is how I'm feeling. Also, evil is an idea. It starts with why not tell these people that this is wrong, that uh, the other people are pigs, Killed, do this to them, do that to them. And before you know it, they begin to nurse it. They begin to nurse the idea. They begin to do one thing or the other. And before you know it, they begin to, and that is what it is today. Nigerian governments are very much aware of who these people are. Listen, you, Nigerians refuse to bring out these people. Another country, United States of America, are the ones exposing them. What a country. See the country that we are in. See the kind of mindset. See how they are promoting and aiding evil to happen in our very own country. Listen, guys. We just need to tell ourselves the truth that there are some people who are evil. That's who they are. They are evil set of people. They have nothing good to offer. Nothing to offer. These are the people and the government is shielding them, encouraging them to continue in this track. What a shame. Nigerians, what a shame. It's the U.S. that is exposing them and saying, my people, this is what is going on. These are the people causing the trouble, the issues in Nigeria. These are the people who are making Nigerians to weep. These are the people who have made mothers motherless, who have made parents to lose their children. Guys, leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.